Here's how to animate a character jumping through glass. And here we go. Go to Mixamo and browse this animation. Go to characters. You can use any character you want, but I chose this dude. Adam. Download your character. <laughs> In a new Blender project, import your FBX animation. Add a plane to your scene and then go to the modifiers tab and add a solidify and apply that modifier. Adjust the plane so that the character will jump straight through the plane. Enable cell factor by searching in the preference settings. Hide the armature so it's just the plane in the scene. Click the grease pencil and make sure that you have the surface setting enabled. Draw the area where the character will jump through the plane. Apply the cell fracture modifier by searching in the spacebar. Here are the settings that I chose. Well, we're waiting. Once the cell fracture is done calculating, you can hide the grease pencil by this setting here. Select all the shards, go to Object, Rigid Body, and then Add Active. In the Rigid Body settings, go to Dynamics, check Deactivation, check Start Deactivated. Make sure that you hold Alt during all of these changes so that all the shards are changed. Use the selection tool by hitting C and select all the perimeter shards around the glass. Hold Alt and change the rigid type from active to passive. Hide the characters close so that only the armature is showing. Add a sphere to the scene and scale it to the size of the torso. Then use Ctrl P and go into pose mode to pair the sphere to the bones of the armature. Do this for all the limbs of the character. We're doing this so that the character actually interacts with the glass plane. You don't need to be accurate, you just need the shapes of each limb. Select all your spheres and then add a active rigid body modifier. Hold Alt and change the rigid type from active to passive. Hold Alt and click animated. Hold Alt and change the shape to mesh. Now your character should interact with the glass. Add a plane to the scene. Scale it up and add a rigid body modifier. Change it from active to passive. Bump up the friction so that the glass doesn't slide off the ground. Now the glass should interact with the ground. Now hide all the spheres and disable rendering for each sphere. Then reveal all the clothing of the character. Now your character looks like he's real and he's jumping through glass. Head over to the rigid body settings and bake the scene. Adjust the end cache setting to match the animation. This should go pretty quick. Select all the shards of glass and go into the material setting. Adjust the roughness and transmission settings. Change the color of the glass if you want. Now holding down Ctrl L, apply the materials. Add some area lights to your scene so that we can see the glass and the character. Warning, this part is incredibly tedious. Go to the part of the scene where the character is about to hit through the glass. With the original panel selected, click I, then move over one frame, and disable the rendering, and click I again. Go back to the first frame of your scene. Select all the shards by hitting the first one going all the way to the bottom, shift click the last one, and then disable all the shards from rendering. And this is the tedious part. You need to add a keyframe for all the shards. 
Next, go to the part in the scene where the character is breaking through the glass. Re-enable rendering for all the shards and add keyframes for every one. I have yet to find a better way of doing this. If you know of a different way, please let me know in the comments. For the camera, I just added a tracking modifier to one of the bones of the armature. Before you hit render, adjust the ending of the scene to the ending of the animation. And there you have it, we have a character jumping through glass. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing and check out my other tutorials. Thanks a whole bunch! Peace!